think this is a new medium of almost unimaginable potential, um, which now needs as many people coming at it from different points of view to explore where, where, where it can go. You know, I think you know, you know, the Lumiere brothers wouldn't have ex you know, been able to anticipate YouTube or you know, the kind of uh, yeah, the photography, f first photographers wouldn't have known that we'd be sharing images on a daily basis and it would affect our lives in other ways. Um, I think this is the absolute embryonic stage of something, but it's clearly something very new and exciting. With a version of his self-portrait complete, Jonathan has heard that David Hockney is visiting Paris to open his latest retrospective. Yo is keen to show him the potential of the new medium. After all, it was Hockney who investigated the impact of technology on the great painters of the past and the way we represent the world today, with photographs, iPads, as well as paint. <laughs> great, it's lovely seeing someone sort of like get the hang of it so fast. This is a mock-up of my studio. I see, yeah. Because of the way this sort of VR works, every time you move, the perspective on everything's changing. Yeah, you see, I don't have any hands, do I? No, exactly. Well, um, I don't have any feet. I'm not there, really. <laughs> if, for instance, it got very, very real, mm. Wouldn't your first question be, where is the exit? Yeah. It would, yeah. wouldn't it? Where, where exactly. can oh, I yeah. exit? Yeah, there's a panic button. Um, it's the lack of hands and feet. I mean, you're not there, really. I'm not there, in it, really. It's, it's the world seen by nobody, isn't it? By nobody. I mean, I haven't got a body. Uh, As you were saying about needing you know, the way out, if you could see yourself, and so you were, it actually did feel like you were in there, is that more pro problematic still in a way because you realise how easily our brains are fooled by what we see? The fact that everything moves when you move it, and if something's coming towards you that you should react to it, that if an object's right there that you should be able to touch it, you should be able to see your hand. If you have a three-dimensional thing, you want to touch yeah. things, you do. But we believe what we see, don't we? And that's why when, the, when, it, when things do move, even when you move around them, you feel that it should be there. It is an yeah. illusion, isn't it? Yeah, even okay. this is an illusion. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's, it's still photography. I think they've always been trying to make photography better. They're always trying to do it. But, uh, I mean, I'm not sure you can, actually, now. I think mm. you, you, you can't, really. Most people saw photography as having a kind of authority, documentary authority, because it had to be what was going on in the scene at that moment. That painting was subject to the whim and the distortions of the artists. Photography is looking at the world as though you're not there, really, I think. And if you're there, then it's something else. I don't know whether it's essential or not. I think the flat surface is fascinating. I've always been fascinated by it. It's a new challenge in a way, isn't it? I mean, it's sort of... I think you've always got to get down to drawing. I think it's always drawing. It's always back to the drawing board. I'm just going to go painting. I'm just going to do painting now. That's all I do. <laughs> As one of the greatest and most popular living painters, it's not surprising that Hockney is sticking to paint. It was fascinating talking to David today. I thought he was excited by it, but couldn't immediately see how it applied to his own work and his own experience. The more I think about it, a, a huge amount of his work is about perspective, separation, get, 
get in closer to something in order to, to, to feel closer to it. With VR, you can't get closer to it because you're fully in it. And his reaction that, you know, he, want, he wish he had his body in there. But then if he did, he'd want to know where the exit is. And that, I thought, was really telling and, and rather lovely, actually. Uh, you know, I think maybe he feels so involved with things already that he doesn't need to feel any closer to it. You know, actually, it's fine at a, at a, at a, at a, at a safe distance. Um, and VR is quite unsettling. Hockney's interrogation of virtual reality reminds Jonathan that just because VR is new doesn't mean his work is automatically significant. It will still be compared with the art of the past.